the second lecture about uh, early childhood uh, decay and uh, the state problems in Ukraine uh, prevention and management. Let's start. Department of our uh, pediatric therapeutic dentistry created on 28th of uh, in August uh, 2009. And personal composition, one doctor of medicine, professor, uh, five uh, associate professors and eight assistants of our department. <clears throat> As a department, one doctoral and one thesis of antenatal prevention and early childhood decay carries <clears throat> introduction. Uh, of course, uh, uh, enters among uh, the most common medical problem in children mm, in the first year of life. Uh, it is uh, mm, health uh, throughout the world. In low-income households and in development countries, the extent uh, of the disease uh, is uh, comparable uh, to that of an epidemic is an extremely active form of care and uh, one of the most common reasons for hospitalization of young children who have uh, their teeth extracted. You can see uh, clinical cases. Uh, it is decay. And then what we have <clears throat> if a patient don't uh, treat their teeth. Uh, next one. Mm, therefore, today uh, <clears throat> it is very important to search uh, for a both highly effective way to prevent um, uh, childhood decay and <clears throat> effective method of treatment uh, that contribute to the formation of the positive attitude of the child towards visiting the dentist. Uh, expert American National Institute of Health, it was proposed a definition uh, early uh, children carriers characterizing availability one or more carriers defect, uh, cavity or non cavity, removed due to complication of carriers or sealed temporary tooth uh, a child under 72 months. Uh, you can see the pictures. Mm. <clears throat> uh, Caries in young children has been recognized by dentists as a significant problem uh, for more than 150 years old uh, ago. And um, next one, Caries in children early uh, childhood. Uh, it is American pediatrician. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, you need uh, to know the, um, that uh, he in uh, 19 uh, in um, sorry 1862 the first described clinical manifestation of caries in early childhood and uh, <clears throat> And described as less dentist nurse that tooth petite black teeth in young children. Okay. So uh, dental caries is the most common chronic uh, infectious disease in is uh, in of childhood and uh, causes it as we know as we remember by interaction of bacteria. Uh, mainly, um, it is Streptococcus mutants uh, and sugary foods of tooth enamel um, and Streptomocus uh, mutants can spread from mother to baby during infancy and uh, can uh, inoculate even pre-dentate infants. And uh, curious in uh, children, uh, you can see the bottle mouse, uh, so nursing bottle mouse. Mm, and uh, in uh, our literature, we can see such pictures.
because uh, children uh, eat at night and that is why we have such a picture <coughs> In 1978, American Academy of Pedodontics, uh, um, they uh, uh, have, uh, they know such uh, things that Joseph's bottle and Kara's from nursing bottle. So, the initial strategic advice was limited to feeding habit from, uh, which is followed that bottle carriers can be avoided if stop bottle feeding soon after the first year from the day birth. Okay. And as factors, uh, winter with uh, quarters uh, gave the name Blamin and was defined as an acute carrier's process that affects many or all of corrupted teeth, quickly destroying kernel part of the teeth of localized uh, on the surface they are not susceptible to carriers, of which early involvement of the tooth pulp in the process. Uh, so, also literature used the terms, it is bottle syndrome, nine bottle mouth, dental carries from a baby bottle and dental carries from the breast milk. However, each of the above definitions took into account one of, of the many factors contributing uh, to the development of dental carries. Uh, at uh, little children, <clears throat> more addition, uh, parents could not figure out in the benefits and risks of bottle feeding. Okay, and um, on conference uh, that organized the National Institute of Health, uh, two definitions were added: uh, so flowering carriers in babies and early children dental carriers. Uh, so, <clears throat> since 1999, I received a uh, little uh, uh, during this conference uh, as the presence of one or more carrier's cavity and cavityless removed due to carrier's or sealed surfaces, crown tooth in a many temporary tooth at a child aged 7 to 1 month and earlier. <clears throat> then, by Wayne, I identified three types of early childhood carriers. Uh, first type, it is mild to moderate, so isolated carrier lesions on molars uh, and uh, or in, on um, incisors. So more common between the ages of 2 and 5 years. So, Two type moderate or severe dysvestibular, vestibular and palatal carrier lesions on the incisors of upper jaw and temporary molars. The third type uh, it is uh, severe form. Almost all teeth are affected, including the incisors of the lower jaw. Typically occurs uh, between the ages of uh, 3 and 5 and found in 2.5%. And look, please, at our clinical cases. Uh, so, uh, next one. Uh, Streptococcus mutants uh, can spread uh, from uh, mother to baby. Yeah? And these bacteria break down sugars uh, for energy, uh, causing uh, an acidic uh, environment uh, in the mouth and result in, demineral is, uh, in demineralization of the enamel of the teeth and uh, dental caries. Early childhood caries is a, a serious uh, public health problem in both developing and uh, industrialized countries. So. Uh, this uh, type of carriers uh, can begin early in life, uh, progresses rapidly in those who are at, uh, has, for example, high risk, and often goes uh, untreated. Uh, its uh, consequences uh, can affect the immediate and long-time uh, quality of life of the child and family and uh, can have significant social and economic uh, consequences uh, beyond the immediate family as well. Uh, to the date, the term early childhood care is for determination um, of any uh, <coughs> care lesions of 
all and on any surface of the tooth uh, emerged in the first three years of the child's life. The late childhood caries include the a presence one or more caries, cavity, cavities removed due to caries, or silk tooth uh, crown surfaces. Okay, it's uh, any temporary tooth and child aged three from three to six years. Epidemiology: uh, Dental caries in toddlers and infants has has a, a distinctive pattern uh, and uh, different names and uh, terminology um, have been used to uh, refer uh, to the presence of uh, dental caries among uh, very young uh, children. The definition first used uh, uh, to describe this condition were related to etiology, <clears throat> with a focus, focus on uh, inappropriate um, use of nursing practice. The following terms are used uh, interchangeably. And uh, early childhood decay, tooth decay, uh, baby bottle feed uh, tooth decay, early childhood dental decay, comfort carriers, nursing carriers, maxillary anterior carriers, rampant carriers, and more and more. Uh, some of these terms indicate the causes of dental carriers in preschool children. Baby bottle fat tooth decay uh, refer to decay uh, in an infant is associated uh, with what the baby drinks. Uh, however, some authors use the terms uh, use the term nursing caries because it uh, uh, designated inappropriate bottle use and nursing practice as a uh, causal factors. <clears throat> Just also articles look please in this slide. However, the term uh, early childhood caries is becoming uh, increasingly popular with dentists and uh, dental researchers alike. The term early childhood caries was suggested in 1994 workshop sponsored by the Centers of Diseases Control and Prevention in an attempt to focus attention on the uh, multiple, multiply factors. Uh, early childhood uh, caries is defined as the presence of one or more uh, decayed or non-cavitated or cavitated lesions. Yeah? missing teeth uh, due to caries or filled to, to surfaces in, a, in any primary tooth in a child 72 of months age or young. In children younger than three years of uh, age, any sign of smooth surfaces uh, caries uh, is indicated of severe early childhood caries. From ages uh, from ages 3 um, through 5, one or more cavitated missing teeth or filled smooth surfaces in primary maxillary anterior teeth or decayed missing or uh, filled score. It is uh, early childhood caries or bottle caries. And... Um, in the initial phase, um, this uh, type of carriers is recognized as a dull, right uh, demineralized enamel that quickly advanced uh, or to obvious decay along the gingival margin. And uh, primary maxillary incisors are generally affected earlier than uh, the four maxillary anterior teeth, which are often involved um, concurrently. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Carious lesions may be found on, on either the labial and lingual surfaces of the teeth and in some cases on both. The, the decayed hard tissues is clinically evident uh, as a yellow or brown cavitated area. In older children, 
uh, whose entire primary um, dentition is fully erupted. Is uh, it is not uh, unusually unusual to see a considerable um, advan advancement of uh, their dental damage. Look, please, the spots yeah, from yellow to brown or black. And epidemiology, uh, despite the um, decline in uh, their prevalence of dental caries in the children in the Western countries, for example, caries in preschool children remains a problem in both developed and developing uh, countries. Early childhood caries has been considered to be at uh, epidemic uh, proportions in the developing countries. Then, a comprehensive review of the occurrence of the caries uh, on maxillary enterotis in children, including numerous studies from Europe, from Africa, Asia, Middle East, uh, North America, found the highest caries prevalence in Africa and Southeast Asia. The prevalence of uh, early childhood carriers is estimated to range from 1 to 12 percent in infants from developing countries. Prevalence of early childhood carriers is not a common finding relative to some European countries, for example, Sweden, England, with the available prevalence data uh, ranging uh, from below uh, from 1 person to 32. Uh, however, this figure is uh, risen by, the, by as much as 56% uh, in some Eastern European countries. Uh, in USA, in, uh, in, uh, in US, uh, preschool children uh, data from a more uh, recent study indicated that the prevalence of uh, uh, dental cameras of children from two to five years uh, of age and had increased from 24%. Uh, published studies uh, show higher prevalence fig fig figures uh, for uh, three years uh, olds, uh, which range from uh, 60 from uh, 36 and to 85%. And early childhood carriers has been considered at epidemic proportion in the developing countries. Studies uh, conducted in the Middle East uh, have shown uh, that the prevalence of uh, dental carriers between uh, 22 percent to 61. In Africa, between 30, between uh, 38 percent and 45. In Ukraine. For example, Western Ukraine, <clears throat> eight areas, yes, and uh, we have some statistic. So, we have uh, prevalence dental decay in children under three years, uh, 82%, and intensity 2.35 T's. So, Kharkiv, Donetsk, Lugansk and Zaporozhye regions and development risk factors uh, at uh, young children. Uh, of course, this uh, amount of children with uh, childhood uh, decay uh, increases with age, then uh, no pattern in the prevalence of early childhood carriers in the presence of diseases in the antenatal period in uh, different regions. Then children with systemic diseases has a significantly higher risk of developing uh, early childhood caries. <clears throat> and there is a correlation and relationship between the degree of dysbiosis of the oral cavity baby and the intensity to decay these uh, caries. Uh, then, uh, Etiology. Uh, the etiology of uh, this form of caries is multifactorial factorial and has been well established. Um, it is uh, frequently associated with a poor diet and bad oral health habits. 
And um, about influence mother diet, so number of um, consumed uh, fat and food additives uh, so prevalent in the first trimester uh, has a strong direct correlation uh, connection. Yeah, and um, share proteins and carbohydrates in nutrition. A pregnant woman in the first trimester has a strong inverse correlation uh, connection. Okay. Then moderate and indicators Abgar scales of uh, when um, the um, child uh, has born, and um, explained influence at uh, twenty three and three percent. I'm sorry. Um, while Abgar score uh, through five minutes after birth explained by 26% and intensity of uh, dental caries in two year old babies. Uh, then, um, Streptococcus mutans and um, Streptococcus uh, serbinus are the main carogenic microorganisms and uh, this acid production uh, pathogens uh, inhibiting the mouse cause damage by uh, dissolving two structures in the presence of uh, fermentable uh, carbohydrates such as sucrose, fructose and glucose. Most of the investigations um, has show uh, that in children with early childhood caries, Streptococcus mutans has regularly uh, exceeded 30% of the um, cultivable plaque flora. These bacterial uh, mazes are often associated with caries lesions. <laughs> Uh, with carious lesions and uh, white spot lesions and sound to surfaces near the lesions. Uh, conversely, um, Streptococcus mutants uh, typically constituted less than 0.1% of the plaque flora in children with, uh, with uh, when patients, for example, don't have carious activity. Uh, <clears throat> don't have carious activity. Yeah, uh, it is well known that uh, initial uh, uh, initial lesions to streptococcus uh, to mutant streptococcus by infants uh, and uh, occurs during a well um, delineated age range that is being um, designated as the window of infectivity. Most of the long-term studies also demonstrated that um, individuals with low infection level, for example, in the period are less likely to be infected with uh, Streptococcus mutants and subsequently had the lowest, um, lowest uh, level of risk of developing carriers. Uh, this may be explained uh, by the competition between the oral bacteria uh, resulting in the uh, invasions of the niches uh, uh, where Streptococcus mutants can early colonize by less pathogenic species. Yes, mm, then. Uh, vertical transmission, also known as mother-to-child transmission, uh, is the transmission of the infection or other disease, for example, from uh, caregiver to child. Uh, and uh, the mayor, the mayor uh, receiver from which infants acquire uh, Streptococcus mutants is their mother. Uh, the early evidence for this concept uh, come, comes from uh, bacteriocin typing studies where Streptococcus mutants uh, isolated from a mother and their infants uh, demonstrated identical bacteriocin uh, typing patterns and more um, advanced uh, technology 
that utilize the uh, chromosomal uh, pattern or ident identical uh, plasmids provides more uh, compelling evidence uh, to um, substance uh, to uh, substance. Um, substantiate the concept of uh, vertical uh, transmission, for example. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, and baby with intrauterine infection as a result uh, of an uh, imbalance of intestinal microflora. And feeding practices. Um, inappropriate use of a baby bottle has a central role in the etiology and uh, severity of early childhood caries. Uh, the rationale is the uh, prolonged uh, bedtime use uh, of bottles with sweet uh, content, especially lactose. Most of the studies have shown a significant uh, correlation between early childhood carriers and bottle feeding and sleep with a bottle. Uh, breast feeding provides the perfect sorry uh, provides the perfect uh, nutrition for infants. Mm, and there are a number of health uh, benefits to the uh, breastfed child, including a reduced risk of gastrointestinal and respiratory infection. And, uh, uh, however, uh, frequent and prolonged uh, contact of enamel with uh, human milk has been shown to result in uh, acidogenic conditions and softening of enamel. Increasing R available is the most significant factor in shifting and uh, remineralization uh, equilibrium towards demineralization. Uh, there appears to be a clinical uh, consensus in most um, dental um, practice that prolonged and, uh, po and postural breastfeeding in, is associated with an increased risk of early childhood caries, especially after the age uh, after 12 months. Uh, these conditions explained by less, uh, by less saliva production at night and result in uh, higher uh, levels of lactose in the rest and saliva and um, a dental plaque for lungs uh, would be uh, expected during the day. Uh, thereby, uh, balance is uh, shifted uh, towards demineralization rather um, than remineralization during the night because uh, of the uh, insufficient uh, protection caused by reduced post uh, posturnal salivary flow. And uh, admission, so other factors, for example, it is admission uh, excess amount of uh, development salts, yeah, mm, then age mother, over 30 and under 20, uh, quantified children 3 and more, low birth weight, and low uh, mineral bone uh, den uh, density baby tissue. Micro elements. <clears throat> it is uh, no, uh, for example, cuprum, ferrum, zinc, and co cobalt. Risk associated with uh, early childhood care, uh, of course, it is uh, uh, an increased uh, frequency respiratory diseases and their relapses. And um, care in children leads to the decreased pH of oral cavity uh, to the sore site, which promotes growth lactobacillus. Of course, we uh, need uh, to uh, remember about the genetic factors. Uh, 
um, experimentally by determining the expression of the BMP2 genus and osteocalcin in the lower jaw of mouse embryos was found uh, influence a pyrophosphate diet. So our Nessie Genetic factors, yeah, also. Clinically, the development of systemic enamel hyperplasia, focal demineralization of heart uh, dental tissues, and in the future, carriers defeat. Of course, morphological structural uh, changes in preparation uh, both buds and uh, influence uh, high content diet, cholesterol. Uh, when uh, analyzes uh, scanning electron microscopy photographs of incisors and lower molars um, of 28 day old mice uh, born from mice were on the diet with a high content before and during pregnancy, so with cholesterol. There were violation of the structure of the enamel and of the surfaces uh, of the teeth, uh, namely uh, abnormal defects of incisors and on the tuber uh, of the tubercles of the lower lateral teeth. Mm -hmm. Treatment of carers, it's a um, um, complication of young children, is an extremely difficult process because um, we work with baby, we need to work with parents and uh, it's very hard for a dentist. Uh, often it is necessary to uh, resort uh, to treatment under general anesthesia, yeah? sedation method, but such assistance um, on the one hand is uh, expensive and on the other hand it is unsafe uh, for a child for a child since the duration of anesthesia uh, for most children average uh, 2.8 uh, hours. In addition, negative experience with uh, dentist uh, is at early uh, age can leave uh, unpleasant memories for a lifetime and uh, lead to development uh, stomatophobia and as a consequence uh, their premature loss uh, of already permanent teeth. Have children from one to five years old uh, with multiple um, carious lesions of the teeth due to age-related uh, psychophysiological characteristics. Uh, early childhood carious is uh, initially recognized uh, as a dull white hand uh, of a demineralization of enamel uh, that uh, quickly advances to uh, obvious decay along the gingival margin. Uh, the decay is generally first seen on the primary um, maxillary incisors and the four maxillary anterior teeth are often involved um, concurrently. Carious lesions may be found on uh, either the label and lingual surfaces of the teeth and in some uh, cases on both. Uh, the uh, their risk uh, assessment of early childhood carriers and um, the main pathogenic factors. Yeah? Early infection, uh, violation of character and uh, regime nutrition, low level hygienic uh, conditions of the oral cavity, then uh, psychological hypermineralization, hard tissues of deciduous teeth, uh, decline in reactivity of organism. Uh, unfavorable flow pregnancy, uh, early eruption temporary teeth, then high meaning uh, KPU, yeah, DFE index, and uh, 
adverse social status. Then features of the structure of the CDSTs and causing regularities uh, current uh, current scares. Uh, Availability on the surface of the enamel uh, micro cracks and uh, micropore, micropores. And um, then sickness layers of enamel and dentin, a dentin less mineralized. Yeah, then absent immune zones. And morphology and the functional image pulp. Yeah, remember about it. Then, <clears throat> furthermore, the uh, expression of early childhood carriers uh, was adopted um, um, following criteria. So, any sign, any sign of carriers uh, on a smooth surface in children younger than three years. Then, any smooth surfaces of uh, an anterior-posterior deciduous tooth that is delayed and missing uh, or filled in children between 3 to 5 years old. And uh, um, uh, remember about the indexes, yeah, DFE from, four, from 3 to 6 years. Then features of the clinical course of uh, uh, early childhood carriers on stage of formation root. So it is, um, of course, spicy and the um, sharpest uh, current. Uh, defeat up inside in the first place and uh, spreading along the plane um, process often spread circularly and affecting all uh, surfaces of the incisor and leading to breaking of grounds. Then, uh, symmetrical location of defects can be and quick the transmission for, from an uncomplicated form to a complicated one leads of the rapid destruction of the temperatures. And uh, what diagnostic method we can use for make the diagnosis? Uh, of course, um, uh, we um, need to know about the speed of demineralization, about stage of process and extent defect. Uh, on today, there is no single and uh, globally recognized classification of carrier's defects. Uh, we know it's uh, too much classification, but uh, one, it is defect classification. D0, uh, subclinical uh, defects not diagnosed in, in intact surface, then when uh, examined under the microscope. Uh, D1.1, it is white uh, opaque spot on the enamel surface and visible after drying. D1.2, the defect is uh, visible against the background of the surrounding healthy tissues. Uh, it can be stained uh, brown, the tooth surface remains intact, however, loses. Then D2, D uh, it is destruction at the enamel uh, dead and border microcavity. Uh, D3, it is destruction of the entire enamel laying to dentin. D4 as a defect uh, extend uh, to the entire dentin up to the pulp. Then carous defects are more often diagnosed stage uh, three and four. Also, uh, largely uh, preventable by early examination, identification of individual risk. Uh, initiation, yeah, uh, risk factors, for example, and uh, uh, parental um, counseling and education. Um, for example, maybe we can uh, care some procedures, such as topical fluoride application, for example. Uh, the progressive nature of a dental decay can quickly uh, dim diminish, yeah, and uh, failure. Uh, to identify and prevent uh, dental uh, disease has consequential and uh, costly long-term uh, adverse effects. Then,
let's speak about prevention. Oral health uh, means more than uh, just health it is. Oral health affects uh, people uh, physically and uh, psycho psychologically and influences uh, how they grow, look, uh, show, how they test tasty food, uh, socialize and um, as well as their feeling is of uh, all social well-being. A children's quality of life can be seriously affected by severe carriers because um, of pain and uh, discomfort, which could lead of, to um, disfigurement, uh, acute and chronic infection, for example, and uh, altered eating and sleeping habits, as well as risk of hospitalization, of course, of high treatment costs, of uh, loss of school days, uh, will the uh, consequent uh, diminished uh, ability to learn. In most uh, small children, early childhood carers is associated with reduced growth and reduced weight gain due to insufficient food um, consumption to meet the metabolic and um, the growth needs of children less than two years old. Children of three years old um, with nursing um, carries uh, weighted uh, about one uh, kilogram less than control children because they have uh, tooth age, uh, the end infection after eating and sleeping habits, dietary intake and metabolic uh, processes. Then, uh, disturbed uh, sleep affects uh, glucosteroid production. In addition, there is uh, uh, suppression of uh, hemoglobin from uh, depressed uh, um, enterocyte production. Then. There are three uh, general uh, approaches uh, and have been used to prevent early childhood caries. All three uh, approaches include training of mother or uh, caregivers um, to follow healthy dietary and feeding habits in order to prevent the development of early childhood caries. The strategy uh, to combat the early transmission of carogenic bacteria uh, from parents to their offspring uh, is overnamed primary and primary prevention. Uh, the preventive uh, intervention in is most often uh, directed to pregnant women and uh, um, to mother of uh, newborn babies. Uh, this include the following and uh, uh, reduce the bacteria in the mouth uh, of the mother or primary caregiver. Early studies suggest that infants acquire uh, from their mother Streptococcus mutans yeah, from their mother and only after the eruption of primary teeth. Preventive uh, intervention for the purpose for reducing and, uh, the tr transmission of bacteria from mother to children improve the uh, likelihood uh, of, for, of better oral health uh, for the child. Effective approach uh, in the prevention of dental uh, caries is the uh, is a, uh, suppression of Streptococcus mutans in the mouth of the child primary uh, caregiver, caregiver. So here is re uh, regular using uh, xylitol pr products. So what is it, uh, xylitol? Uh, then uh, chemical suppressions uh, by use of uh, chlorhexidine uh, gluconate um, in the form of uh, mouse rinses, uh, gels, and um, Dentifrices uh, has, shows, uh, has shown to um, reduce oral uh, microorganisms, but we can't uh, use uh, these uh, um, antiseptics very long time, only two weeks, uh, because then we have the resistance of microorganisms. 
uh, then uh, we need to minimize uh, the transmission of bacteria that cause uh, tooth decay. Uh, minimizing saliva sharing activities between children and parents, uh, caregivers uh, limits bacterial transmission. Uh, examples include avoiding the sharing of uh, food, of drinks, um, discouraging uh, a child from putting her, his or her hand in the um, caregiver's mouth, not uh, licking a, a pacifier before uh, giving it uh, to the child, and not sharing uh, toothbrushes. Uh, the goal is to prevent or delay children as long as possible from acquiring uh, the bacteria that cause tooth decay. Then, um, chewing gum with xylitol is recommended for pregnant women three times a day for three months or after the birth of the child from five to uh, eight months of age to uh, two years old. I'm sorry guys, 20 seconds. Then, it is necessary to inform parents, yes, about the vertical uh, transmission of microflora, where I say about it. And motivation and uh, education the parents, yeah, of uh, in the ration, uh, rational uh, oral hygiene. Uh, so, at a first stage, uh, a, a all uh, oral healthy, all health education, so dental uh, carriers cannot occur uh, without the uh, substrate uh, component of sugar. Uh, therefore, more of the professional advices and practical research has focused on uh, modification of the inf infant's diet and feeding habits uh, through education of the parents. Uh, child health professionals, including but not limited to a physician uh, and uh, some assistants, nurse uh, uh, practitioners and nurses, can play a significant role in reducing the border of this disease. Now, while most children do not visit a dentist until uh, the age of three year, years, uh, children have visited a child um, health professional up to uh, 11 times for well child visit by this age. Uh, and oral health education is a designed pack, package of information, learning activities, yeah, uh, or uh, experience that are intended to produce improvement oral health. Uh, with the primary goal of uh, disease prevention is proposed uh, is to uh, facilitate uh, decision making for oral health practice. Um, practices and to encourage appropriate choices uh, for these behaviors. So we need to brush teeth twice a day and for after first molar have erupted, a small amount to toothpaste is used. And examples of toothpastes. Effective health education uh, may, may thus uh, so produce uh, the uh, changes in knowledge, uh, induce uh, or clarify values, bring about uh, some shift in uh, belief or attitudes, uh, facilitate uh, the achievements of skills, and bring about change in behaviors or lifestyles. And uh, avoiding carriers promotion feeding behaviors. 
Uh, first, infants should not uh, be put to sleep with a bottle containing ferment fermentable uh, carbohydrates. The second, uh, at uh, libitum, breastfeeding uh, should be avoided after the first primary tooth uh, begin to erupt and other dietary carbohydrates are introduced. Then, parents should be encouraged to have infants drink from a cup as they approach their first birthday. Infants should be weaned from the bottle at 12-14 months of age. Then, uh, between meal snacks and uh, prolonged um, Exposures to food and juice or other um, beverages here containing fermentable carbohydrates should be avoided. And about fluoride, of course, uh, you, you can see the table, age group, uh, uh, then concentration of fluoride, frequency of use uh, once a day, and amount. Look, please. Um, the use of fluorides uh, then for dental purposes yeah, began in the uh, 19th century, if you know. Uh, fluorides are found naturally uh, throughout the world and they are present um, uh, to some extent um, in all foods and water, so that all humans uh, ingest some fluoride uh, on a daily basis. Um, Fluoride, um, fluorides are used uh, by uh, communities as a public health measures, yeah, and uh, here we have a global um, consensus that regular use of fluoride uh, toothpaste can constitutes, yeah. In fact, a global survey uh, revealed that most experts addressed uh, fluoride toothpaste as the main reason. Yes, uh, and uh, this toothpaste we used uh, for, um, for teeth, we can prescribe it. Then, uh, Active substance, yeah, also and con concentration. And you can see the name and examples of toothpastes. Uh, and sodium fluoride, such form. Uh, the most common method for systemically applied fluoride is fluoridated drinking water, yeah. And of course, um, we use um, we have some articles about the reduction in childhood dental decay uh, attributable to fluoridation, were approximately from forty to sixty percent. Uh, this is likely caused uh, by the increase in use to uh, fluoride from other sources, with the widespread use of fluoride toothpaste probably being the most important factor. It is electric toothbrush for children, Philips Sonicare. So, um, we can reduce yeah, the risk of carrier transfer from primary teeth to permanent, uh, reduce the risk of uh, crowding uh, teeth and need for braces. Extremely uh, uh, difficult to treat teeth, we remember about this, and uh, more uh, efficiently parents, so 75 more effective than using a uh, conventional uh, toothbrush. Uh, Philips toothbrush and Ikea for kinds and um, it is learning uh, map, special learning app. And we can um, correct uh, uh, the right uh, habits and correct brushing technique. So, for example, first of all, it is teaches, stimulates and uh, entertains. Um, so, two, two modes uh, from 3 to 7 years old, from uh, 7 to 14 years old. 
So special attachment for children with a delicate effect uh, to the enamel. Uh, then uh, um, rubber, uh, rubberized grip for child. And uh, here we have uh, different um, models of toothpaste and different application. Application training awards fun. Uh, then it is article and uh, some percent we can see. So 98 Hygienists recommend toothbrush. Yes, 93 hygienists noticed improvements. Power control. Of course, uh, we need uh, to do the uh, power control. And uh, uh, the dentist begin to, by talking with the parents about the uh, need um, um, to avoid uh, uh, some um, yes uh, promiscuous night and evening feeding. Then have a child aged from eight to ten months should have no more than five six meals. It is optimal is parental education about the basic yeah, of, of feeding a child. Then recommendation with breastfeeding, uh, refusal to feed on uh, demand, uh, with uh, artificial feeding, the uh, tra uh, transition to uh, drinking from the cup, and um, the content of the bottle, of course, only food and water. And stop using the drinking, the drinking bottle as soon as your child can drink from a cup. In uh, over one year old, also number of feeding, no more than five times a day, juices and compotes no more than two times a day and uh, juice no more than 100 milliliters or better through a straw. Uh, sweets and fruits before brushing your teeth, uh, prohibits uh, snacks, uh, sweet cookies, battles, uh, chips, uh, corn sticks, yeah. And recommendation for dental care after taking sugar containing uh, medicinal uh, vitamins pre preparation, but only with pediatrician. One of the uh, promising areas prevention early uh, childhood caries is using probiotics. Uh, with the purpose of uh, competitive uh, settlements of the child's oral cavity, lactobacilli and bifidobacteria. Research showed uh, that in uh, consumption probiotics and uh, these effects uh, was most uh, pronounced at children from 3 to 4 years old. It is our article about the uh, early childhood carriers. Uh, it is uh, early childhood care a state of problems in Ukraine and uh, it is uh, a journal about modern dentistry and our article also. Uh, article uh, right in Asa Igorevna, our professor. And prevention programs. Some research programs was uh, developed of the burning of early uh, childhood carers in Ukraine, but it's not study has not been evaluated for their effectiveness in strictly planned clinical trials. Mm, we can use uh, fluorine gels and uh, sunbiotics uh, for children. Yeah. 
Uh, then complex uh, screen prevention for children with early childhood caries included, um, first of all, this recommendation uh, about the nutrition consumption of proteins, food, uh, then application drug, Piodomarine, application of multivitamins preparation, Calcinova, for example, seal and fissure, use fluorine varnish every three months, and train in hygiene oral cavity. And how preventive measures? Yeah. Is Ivan and Dirty Simon or no? Uh, preventive programs heighten oral cavity for children from 8 to 12 months. Professional plaque removal, treatment, and holding local remineralization therapy. For children who were uh, breastfeeding, uh, feedings, yeah, uh, from, from birth to 6 months, uh, providing parents information about the date of the first visit, recommendation regarding nutrition. And using toothpaste. Selection infants formula that contains probiotics, microorganism. You can see the um, examples. For children who were bottle fit, prevention program included application drug, lactobacerin. Clinical monitoring every six months, holding training women in daily hygiene skills, uh, selection items and means for the care of pee air, and using seal and fissure. Sipan Sergei Borislavovich and dental preventive program. First stage of the program lasted for six months and included in your cell. It's treatment on selective enterocolitis and dysbiosis by the gastroenterologist uh, using visual cards and uh, using two space rocks containing aminofluorine and xylitol. With 24 months child uh, reception monoprobiotics containing uh, species strain select bacillus. Then application fermented milk drink containing probiotics, professional teeth cleaning, remineralizing therapy. We uh, work with ROX gel, the use of fluoride drugs, uh, sealant fissure, and teaching children method of brushing teeth. Then. Uh, pills and children probiotics extract, Bio Gaia for dentist to time, good results. Then, big proportion of children, three, if three, six year with poor hygiene. And uh, here we need to know that small number of studies of risk factors and prevention. The early childhood carriers limits, limits the understanding of how to effectively manage this defeat in Ukraine. Okay, thank you for your attention. And uh, I want to tell you about treatment and we will finish our lecture. lecture. So, treatment. The tactics of the dentist in the care should include a set of prevention and therapeutic measures. Yeah? So, modern and approach of the treatment of carous lesion, of course, it is um, prevention. If we have uh, D1.12, uh, term prevention treatment is used to refer to clinical uh, interventions to identify the treat uh, early uh, carous lesions. This type of treatment is aimed uh, and at uh, reducing the action of acid-forming microflora. Uh, and uh, what we can uh, do? We can um, do a nutritional recommendation, uh, then uh, uh, prescribe fluoride and calcium preparation, but only uh, when we work with pediatrician. For parents, recommend uh, daily uh, inclusion is uh, fluorinated, uh, yes. And reception preparation of calostress, elements, vitamins, also with uh, pediatrician. 
Antimicrobial therapy um, as with clinical signs of early uh, childhood caries uh, because we need to reduce keratogenic microflora. Uh, so, uh, and uh, in the presence of factor risk, hypoplasia of enamels, night feeding after incise eruption, frequent drinking juices from a bottle, and uh, high uh, DFE indices of family. Antimicrobial funds, so solution by chlorhexidine, but not too long time, two weeks. Uh, Warnish uh, Servitec, uh, we use 7 10 days. And uh, and uh, we can do an uh, application with a yoga. Heal ozone therapy. So, sealing. Yes, uh, doing. Um, Deep fluoridation during professional uh, cleaning of the teeth. Fluoride preparation. Application by varnish. Two times a year. Uh, then important to remember they applied yeah, about the varnish. And... We use glass and number Siemens, of course, for uh, doing sealing teeth. Yeah. And when we mm, apply to early carious lesions, for example, um, calcium as phosphorus preparations, uh, it's uh, good for local remineralizing home therapy. And we can use uh, rocks, medical minerals, we can use GC uh, company to smooth. Is, they work very good. Then, uh, the basic mechanism of activity is ability to uh, bind uh, calcium and, phosphor and phosphate ions and keep them in an am amorphous form. And uh, contraindication to use it uh, allergy to cow's milk proteins. Okay, and we need to ask our patient. Rock's medical gels uh, to special additives uh, is retains well on the uh, surface of the teeth, forms and stable film, which allows to extend uh, the exposure time. And uh, uh, the xylitol added to the gel increased inter uh, remineralization uh, potential and also inhibits activity carogenic car types of bacteria. Then, techniques rocks application, uh, uh, of course, directly throughout the uh, brush your teeth uh, with toothpaste uh, before applying the gel. Apply gel on all areas. Uh, recommended the duration, the application is uh, 15 minutes. Uh, so, and by after the end of the application, do not rinse your mouth. Uh, then calcium and phosphorus preparations composition by a foam uh, splat and um, it includes uh, Japanese liquid rice uh, extract and be active uh, organic uh, calcium worked out form and um, for many uh, years to prevent uh, progress uh, progression uh, carries a process of temporary teeth dentists use silver nitrate or silver fluoride uh, currently this drug are not used in any of the developed uh, countries as uh, there in teeth and uh, um, which can lead to social uh, management yeah Indication for non-invasive sealing fish of children early ages, availability risk factors, yeah, image of fish fishers and pigmented fishes. Uh, at our practical lesson, we speak about uh, the um, fish sealing more detail. Okay, and uh, recommendations. Rehabilitation treatment. Okay, for example, when we need uh, the restorator, when we need many teeth for treating, we can use um, 
sedation method or we can use some premedication and step by step we treated all teeth and then uh, choose a method uh, of course uh, from degree of carous destruction we use then uh, readily, uh, readiness uh, child to operation and economic accessibility method three principles individual prevention early identification and assessment to risk and minimum invasive feeling Uh, so, and materials that we can use, uh, modern filling materials. We also speak about the um, automatic rehabilitation treatment. Uh, when we can uh, uh, dry it with uh, cotton balls and seal it with glass enamel cement. Uh, if the filling was performed in the early stages of the development of caries, uh, this allows uh, you um, to stop the progression of the process of destruction. But we use this uh, method not very often. And uh, when preparation of class uh, second cavities, uh, it is uh, um, desirable to form an additional retention team and check their occlusion after placing and filling. And separation is indicated. Minimal preparation method, uh, um, automatic treatment method, uh, but not only hand instruments are used to prepare the cavity, but also a drill. When opening the cavity with burrs or enamel knives, um, only a demineralized enamel is excised, excised uh, leave, uh, leaving a small inlet. And we can use only glass enamels in these cases. A chemical and mechanical preparation of dentin, uh, principle of chemical, so removal uh, of carious dentin with uh, chemical softening and subsequent selective uh, excavation. The action of dentin softeners is based on uh, electrostatic uh, rupture, non-covalent bonds between proteins mm, and peptides. It in form uh, as gel. And delayed filling method, not very not very difficult it's treatment uh, when we you know, work with a deep carious cavities and uh, they can be successfully carried out using this technique so we need uh, all carious dentin except for the one line directly about the pulp And after removal uh, of all infected dent in the area of pulp is covered with a preparation based of calcium hydroxide, zinc, oxide, abginol, cements or paste. Sometimes we don't need uh, any uh, base, uh, we work uh, with um, uh, composites. Then, uh, microorganisms transmitted to a child from parents, yeah, from brother and sister, therefore it's necessarily, you know, we speak with the uh, parents about it. Uh, 
Then care behind the baby teeth. Uh, the first months after the appearance of the teeth, uh, rubbing with a um, damp gauze uh, napkin or silicone finger brush two times a day. Use toothpaste um, and uh, sweet. Try to give food in the first half of the day. It's the evening vegetable poo. Uh, Sandal candy. <laughs> so once a week um, and visit a dentist every three months. One clinical case is so analysis pregnancies and postnatal period were normal, uh, but um, breastfeeding up to one year, teasing from uh, six and five months, the child is healthy, uh, the pediatrician is uh, consulted uh, for colds uh, no more than two three times a year. Allergic anemia is not weighted down. Uh, the teeth were looked after irregular brushes with a toothbrush without paste. And oral examination. You can take photo. And prevention plan. Okay, what we need to do, it's uh, all steps. Where necessary, please take a photo and write in your synopsis. And first stages of the treatment, professional hygiene, then we use a uh, automatic method, but it's very, very, um, not very often, okay? We need uh, to do a necrectomy from all uh, infected tissues of teeth and material glycionomers. And after it's a second, you can uh, take photo and write about. Uh, first, we you write. Um, you can write in your um, synopsis. First visit, second visit, okay. And in these cases, we use uh, the compamir, yeah, glass enamel with uh, composites, uh, and name of this material Twinkie Star. Thank you for your attention. I think uh, you have our Facebook, our Instagram and YouTube channel. And um, if you have some question, guys, please write in Google Class. And on our pr practical lessons, we will speak about all of your questions. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.